Breaking news. Reveal the truth about your health. Bishop Waluki tells Buhari, you know, there's been this controversy about what is really going on with Buhari's health. People come to tell us that um, his clone is this, is that, is dead. I'll keep saying it again and again. If he's dead, it has not been officially made. It's still an allegation and they call it an alleged information on it until it is proven. So we at the media angle will be very wrong to go and say what has not been officially, uh, you know, uh, proven or okay okay or said about uh, for status um nobody has officially said this again it's all an allegation it has not been proven now bishop waluki a very renowned known man of god is saying to buhari there is something not right about you and you need to tell nigerians the truth what is going on what is this your healthcare issue thing you keep going back and forth about tell nigerians what it is they have a right to know you are in a public office there is no, is my privacy at this point in time. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Reveal the truth about your health, Bishop Waluki tells Buhari. Bishop Waluki, the president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, has urged the federal government to stop hiding the truth about the health status of President Muhammadu Buhari. Bishop Waluki noted that the president is no longer a private person and needs to be more open so that Christian bodies will know how to pray for him. Okay, who urged and spoke in Lagos at a press briefing said, we are praying for our president for good health. He has been out of the country for two weeks on health matters. However, two things give us concern about this very president, his sojourn and who he really is. We feel that the nation is being told, is not being told the whole truth. We feel that there are some sketchy and very deceitful things going on. We feel very deprived to the person who appears to be number one citizen being a true example and a reflection of what Nigerian society holds. We feel that we've been sidelined and put to the background and told anything they feel they should tell us being children, not being adults, to be told and discussed with on the table of discussion. We feel that there is something not being told about this very present administration. There is a lie and a deceit and we ask the federal government and the president should lay down the cards and uh, on the table and tell us what is happening so dear mr president he's no longer a private person he belongs to us so we all need to know to direct know how to direct our prayers stop hiding his head status of the president tell the whole nation tell the world what is happening bishop okay also wondered why the president prefers traveling abroad for medical checkup instead of putting nigerian healthcare system in order for him to use he said again we are concerned that whenever our president needs a health check he will go out of the country to us this is a major international security risk does it mean that our president is safer in the hands of foreigners than our hands supposing that these people in an attempt on the nine our nation play games with our president what can we do why should our elected president be going abroad for health care when we can inject money into the health care sector in nigeria and and get it up to standard as well. Okay, also urged the federal government to, ra to rise to its number of responsibility of provide protecting lives and property citizens of the country. Every He said everyone should be concerned about the security situation of the country today. We want to change the federal government and we want to charge them that they should rise up to the number one responsibility of protection of lives and property for all Nigerians. I want to charge the newly appointed security chiefs not to talk politics with lives and property and should live up to expectation and bring about skill and deal with this insurgency once and for all. PFN is an opinion that the government should not negotiate with bandits. Negotiating with bandits is an admin 
is an admission of government failure. Bandits are not negotiated with. They are meant to be faced out by the wrath of the law. Why should a credible government be negotiating with rapists, killers, murderers, those who adopt people? It is not acceptable. I do not believe that Nigerian government has failed yet to that extent. Yet they continue to throw this in our face. This up to stop and stop now. The waste of the government and all that is going on, the killing spree, ought to stop. Our land is stained with blood. Thank you very much, clergyman. God will bless you for your obvious, uh, you know, uh, for obviously noting out things going on in our government. Thank you for speaking out. Uh, however, uh, we don't think that this government understands the language you are speaking because uh, what they are, what they, what they know how to do best and what they normally do best is to oppress their citizens. Okay, not to tell them the truth. They behave as if they are talking to children. You know, it's at home that when you are talking about sensitive, important matter, you are careful how to bring out those important issue before children so they don't go out to their friends and the way they put out the matter you know becomes is on is not acceptable it must be done decently and in order so that you know the the right the right perspective is communicated but when children hear a particular matter and issue what they say may not really reflect what is on ground they may just go there and just say hey, my daddy said this that, that was not the contest that was not on that you know and it might just spoil things so right now, that is the way the federal government is treating us as a people. Oh, they do not believe or, you know, refer to Nigerians as mature people, adequately well-read, well-learned, and uh, they feel that they are the ones in charge. So they take things into their hands and do things the way they want to do. It ought not to be so. So Nigerians, the onions rise will rest upon us to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? We all rise up and, you know, together with one voice. By the time we demand for it, they have no choice but to budge. We know that this government is a very stubborn one. But one other thing we can do as well is let's pray. Because if Nigeria remains as one in 2023, I mean, something has to change. But who knows? Nigeria may not be won by 2023. We only have today. We are all hoping and praying that, you know, things will change. However, what about if things remain the way they are? Who are we going to pick? Who is going to become the next president? Who is going to begin to direct the affairs of the country? Because the present administration, we cannot even continue with this present party. How much more administration? This is failure personified explained explicit and nigerians should know that this is what failure looks like a failed government a failed people who cannot even i mean talk to their people when last did buhari address nigeria when was the very last time buhari sat down you know came out to address nigerians when did you see the Prime Minister of Great Britain addressing his people every now and again. Did you see? Did you see uh, that for Canada? Do you see Joe Biden? You see him on TV. You see him live. When last did you? See? He's only boring. We only see him in pictures. Okay, let's be honest with ourselves. Where is this guy? So there's so much deceit around. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.